How do I know you're huge? Uh... Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. It's true, I am. Why else would I be greasing this rod? I got a saltwater trip coming up, and it got me thinking. I was pretty nervous the first time I went on a skiff. I wasn't sure what to do or how to act. I didn't want to upset my guide. There's definitely some do's and don'ts. Let's talk about skiff etiquette. One of the most important things you can do is stay in the center of the boat. Center up. Center up. These boats are tippy, so if you're leaning to one side, the guide isn't going to be happy. You're just making his job harder. Rocking the boat also scares the fish. Do you even know what a lateral line is? Fish have lateral lines. Look it up. Feel free to ask as many stupid questions as you have. How deep is it here? What kind of bird is that? What's a jack plate? Is that a redfish? Was that just mullet? What are those, shock absorbers? Ask your guide what their favorite rod grease is. That's an advanced question. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't need to bring your own boat bag. The captain's got what you need. But I want to use my flies. Oh, well, I need my chapstick. Don't cast over the middle of the boat. You're going to hook your guy or the other sport. This is called a hatch. Don't slam the hatches in the boat. It's not a compartment. It's a hatch. Don't slam them or the cooler lid. You will get yelled at and not invited back. Be sure to check out the links in the video description down below. Did your friend just buy a brand new skiff? If your friend's kind enough to take you out on his boat, you need to pay for beer, food, gas. Post-fishing massages are always appreciated. All right, all greased and ready to go. I'll see you on the water.